Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about support vector machines regression. We are going to talk about the logic behind the algorithm. We are going to take a look at how we can code it in Python scikit-learn. We are going to talk about the parameters of the algorithm. And at the final, we are going to talk about how we can do hyperparameter tuning. Let's start coding. So I'm in VS Code right now. It's going to be the code editor that I'll be using in this video. You can use any code editor that you want. And I will say support vector machines.ipmb I'm going to be talking on Jupyter Notebooks and I'm going to select my Python environment as Python 3.11.4 then I will say support vector machines for regression now let's talk about the topic so so the key idea behind support vector regression is to find a function that deviates from the actual target values by a value no greater than a specified margin while being flat as possible. In other words, SVR, which stands for support vector regression, I'm going to type that, we are going to import it like this too, tries to fit the best possible line, or we can call it hyperplane, that stays within a specified tolerance to the true output values. So let's understand the mathematical concept behind that. So SVR attempts to find a function, let's say it like this, fx, and w multiplied by x plus b that approximates the target values y as closely as possible and in this formula we can say like this is the predicted output and this is going to be the output that we are going to be taken from the model and x here is our input that we are going to value that we are going to give to the model also we can refer it as our input features and this w in here is the weight vector. Each weight corresponds to the importance of a feature in the model. In a simple linear regression with one feature, w is just a single coefficient. In cases with multiple features, w is a vector with a weight for each feature. And the multiplication of this, w multiplied by x, this is the dot product for the multiplication of weight vector and the feature vector. The dot product sums the product of corresponding elements from the two vectors. It represents a linear combination of the input features weighted by the coefficients w. And b in here is the bias. And this is the scalar value added to the weighted sum of the inputs. So, unlike other regression techniques, SPR introduced a margin of tolerance, which we can also with actually let's type the b bag we can symbolize it with this character and it's called as epsilon around the function to create a soft margin within which errors are tolerated so let's start coding it what we are going to do in the first place is we are going to do our import so i will say from scikit-learn that support vector machines import svr the thing that we talked in here the closed form of the support vector regression and now I'm going to say from scikit-learn.datasets import make regression and then I will say from scikit-learn.model selection import train test split and I will say from scikit-learn.matrix import mean squared error with r squared score so we are going to use the SVR in here for model make regression for creating the data that we are going to be using in this video train test split for splitting our data and mean squared error with R score for evaluating the model that we create and I'm going to be training the base model firstly like we are not going to do any type of parameter operation then we are going to do hyperparameter tuning for finding the best performing model and we can talk about the hyperparameter tuning like most of the machine learning models have parameters and we can optimize them by setting them in the best performing values and using that model so we will do that operation after training a base model without any parameter operations so let's start coding we are going to start by creating our x matrix and y vector and i will say make regression i'm going to set the number of samples as thousand number of features as five and then i will say noise for adding a noise a little bit and let me show you the x matrix we have with five features and here is our y in here it's our target vector we have values like this and now 
we are going to do a train test split I will say X train X test Y train and Y test and I will use train test split X Y and test size of 0 0.2 so I have a tutorial on this on my channel on my machine learning tutorials playlist where I have tutorials for machine learning concepts but I'm going to talk about it quickly if you don't want to watch that video and if you don't know the concept we are going to train our models with training data X train and Y train and we are going to make predictions with the model using X test and we are going to compare the outputs on Y test so by setting test size as 0.2 20 percent of the data and in this case we have thousand data points so 200 is going to be in the testing set and 800 is going to be in the training set we have now we are going to initialize our base model svr is going to be svr then let's train our model we will say svr.fit and we will give our training set with x train and y train so we are going to have our model trained and now we are going to make predictions using our model svr predict and we will give x test and we are going to get a vector like this i'm going to be saving this to something like y predictions now we can get our mean squared error and r squared score so mean squared error is going to be mean squared error y test and y prediction like this and r squared is going to be like in here we will say r squared score y test and y prediction so we can get our mean squared error and r squared so in the mean squared error side we want our value to be lower and in the r squared side we want our value to be higher and i'm not going to evaluate these results like it's dependent to your case and it's not the topic of this video but knowing this should to be higher this should to be lower if you want better models is enough information so let's talk about the parameters of the support vector regression we have c the regularization parameter and it controls the trade-off between achieving a low error on the training data and minimizing model complexity high value c mean least tolerance to errors we have epsilon it defines the margin of tolerance where no penalty is given to errors smaller values lead to a narrower tube and potentially more support vectors we are going to have kernel determines the type of transformation applied to the input data common kernels include linear polynomial radial basis function and sigmoid and we are going to have gamma used in rbf poly and sigmoid kernels it defines how far the influence of a single train example reaches low values mean far and high values mean close and now we are going to be do doing our hyperparameter tuning so i will say from scikit-learn.model selection import grid search cross validation and it's used for trying out all the combinations of the parameters and i will say define the parameter grid like c is going to be i'm going to go with the same order right in here i will say 0 0.1 and 1 10 100 then i'm going to say for the epsilon i will use 0 0.01 0 0.1 and 1 i will say kernel and i will say linear and polynomial and radio basis function actually it needs to be linear like this and in the gamma side i will say scale and auto so this is going to be our parameter grid like i'm going to save it like this and it's going to look for these values and you are not limited on this list like you can extend this list like you can add 500 ad 90 5 6 to c you can increase this epsilon decrease it completely up to you the more parameters you try the probability of finding a better model but also it means more computational cost and now i'm going to save the grid search i don't want a big computational cost i want it to run quick so i will say like i'm not going to add too much numbers on here so in the grid search initialization side i will say grid search cross validation 
SVR is going to be our estimator. I will give the parameter grid and I'm going to set the cross validation as five, which means that we are going to split our data into five folds and every for every fold, we are going to train our data on four folds and test on one. I have a tutorial on this too. You can check that video. And after setting it, we are going to do the training operation, extreme Y train. And I'm going to be re-recording when this operation finishes. So it's completed in 30 seconds and we can see the best parameters using best parameters from here. And it's 100 for C, 0.1 for Epsilon, scale for Gamma and linear as kernel. So let's compare our results. So I'm going to say SVR optimized. It's going to be the estimator with these parameters and I'm going to save it like grid search the best estimator. And now we can use its methods like we have predict method and you will predict the X test using this. And now I'm going to save it like Y prediction tuned and let's get our R squared with mean squared error. So I will say mean squared error and I will give Y true, which is Y test and Y prediction tuned for the mean squared error. And for the R squared, I will say R squared score Y test with Y prediction tuned just like in here. So you can see we have a really improved performance since this mean squared error is lower and R squared is much higher. By the way, the maximum value it can take is one. And also this can be the sign of overfitting this much high value, but it's not the topic of this video. And in the context, we improved our performance with hyperparameter tuning. So let's summarize what we did in this video. We talked about the support vector regression. We talked about the general regression logic formula. Then we imported SVR, make regression, train test split, mean squared or R squared. Then we used make regression for data creation. We used train test split. We trained the base model and evaluated it. Then we talked about the parameters we have. We defined the parameter grid and we used grid search, which is used for trying out all of the combinations of the parameters. And then we fitted it, we checked the best parameters, we saved the best estimator and make the predictions with it, and we improved our results. Thanks for watching this tutorial on support vector machines regression. I have a playlist named Machine Learning Tutorials where I have more than 40 videos just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the description. Have a great day.